Hi guys and welcome to another YouTube video and a quick tutorial about possibly one of the most useful downloaders that you'll ever need called JDownloader2. Now here I've got a blog on briefly how it works and what it is but essentially linking back to the other videos about the file hosters especially this downloader is very very useful and again it is open source and um, you know run by the people so it's really good and it's got a lot of plugins so essentially what we can do we can combine it with either our real debris logins or the file hoster logins so it's very very useful to combine either and then use the program to download it because then you can pause stop files uh, tell the computer to shut down once the download is done so i highly highly recommend this program for going to be using file hosters to download a lot and even in general you can even download youtube videos and so on but i'll make another video uh, regarding an even better program for downloading uh, videos from online. So, um, the JDownloader can be downloaded from the direct website, though I recommend you do it from this link to support me if that's possible, please, thank you. Um, yeah, so once you, you go to the JDownloader website, and you just click download here, and obviously you select your operating system, and then you just download and install it. Now I've installed it already, so you should have something that looks like this. Now me, like I said, the best one of the best things is that if you go into the settings and go into the uh, the account manager here, just so you can see all of it. So if you go into the account manager, you can start adding your uh, your, your your accounts here. So for me. Added, I, I added the real Debrid account and then that one. What's clever about it is that JDownloader can recognize what file hosters real Debrid can use and then it will select it automatically and download it. So I've got a test link here from the previous one. It's just the FileZilla setup. Um, FileZilla is another good program. So here you can see that it's already detected the link and it's, it's online, it's checking it and it can even tell you to um, speed up the process by filling out captures. So here it's, it's done it here and I've already added my account. You can see it down here and it has here is the amount of file hosters that is supported by the, uh, the account that you've added. So click start download and then it'll just start downloading it. Uh, yep, yeah, and there we go, it's finished and that was done at full speed. And in the, I didn't show you, but in the downloads, you can even select where it's gonna go. You can select the file name, but yeah, it's just a, a really, really, really good uh, program that you can even um, use for a lot of things. And it even checks that the file is downloaded all right. So that's it for me today. So in summary, JDownloader is a very good, easy program to use. Um, and I would highly recommend it for downloading from file hosters. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and if there's any feedback, please do put it in the comments below. Thank you.